Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome to more Obey Me. We're going to be doing more Obey Me event reading with the boys. We're going to read today's or the current like event, which is the Phantom Butterflies. How's everyone doing? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Hello to VOD watchers and live watchers, of course. Hello, Natsu. Hi, Hiki. Hello, Trevor. Hello, Autumn. And silliness, thank you guys for joining me today. <clears throat> also, hi, Queen. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> I've been drinking some tea. I'm still kind of waking up. But yeah, I did venture out of the garden yesterday. Glad that you enjoyed yourself. Thank you, Hiki. Yeah, it's been it's been a hot minute. I don't usually uh, go outside too much um, because of uh, being anxiety and all that stuff. Um, Stella is here, but because I started talking as usual, she's like, "What are you doing, mom? I'm gonna get in your face." Yes, go back to your go back to your bed. Yeah, make those biscuits. What a good girl. <laughs> yeah, I went out. Um, we had our. Uh, we had our yearly kite and pinata festival uh, in my area. So the weather was perfect for kite flying. There were a lot of kites. Uh, a lot of people were out, but because it was outside, I didn't really feel as overwhelmed. Um, there were some vendors out there. There were um, pinata um, smashings going on. Um, what else? Oh, there was a stage, so there were some performers um, up there. Like, it had, you know, obviously um, Mexican stuff, but because the park that is held there, we have our Japanese botanical garden. So we also had some people doing some Japanese performances too. So it was like a mix of Mexican and Japanese. <laughs> Um, I didn't get to see as many performances as I wanted to because I kind of got there late. Um, I went with the roomie and then a friend that also lives in the area. So we had to uh, wait for him to have lunch before we went. But I'm still really happy I went because I got to see old friends I haven't seen in a while since like COVID and since I stopped doing like uh, convention attending as frequently as I used to. So that was nice. We got to watch them do their thing, their cosplaying thing, get to be cuties. Um, they had a, a huge picnic uh, with hot pot and onigiri and nice snacks and fruit and all that uh, stuff. It was nice, very pleasant. Not something I had planned. Uh, I kind of forget when local events happen. Uh, so I, I usually, usually somebody's like, hey, are you going to X or Y? And I'm like, wait, when is X and or Y? And they're like, this weekend, I'm like, oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad I went. And then I also managed to, I went to a local, well, not too local. We had to drive a bit, but we went to a mom and pop kind of game shop. Because the other day a friend was like, hey, I know you really want to play Odin Sphere and you haven't played it. So the store we went to got in a like pretty much like new version of Odin Sphere uh, Lephisthar or Lephisthar. I'm not sure how you say it, uh, but it's by the same people that have done um, 13 Sentinels. Um, the most recent game that came out that they did is uh, Unicorn Overlord. Um, they've also done Muramasa, which is Vita only. I also own a copy of that I need to play. But their games and their artwork has been very, very pretty, and and I really need to get on playing one of those. But I've just been hoarding them, but at some point, guys expect me to play a Vanillaware game. Hi, Ivy! How's it hanging? Do you uh, be uh, living like a beautiful princess right now? He is. I love this card. I had a force him to come home though unfortunately i have three copies of solomon i had to do a hundred bulls to get him to to uh, actually appear so he's being a little stubborn um i'm hoping i didn't overspend since now they announced the happy devil day stuff that's happening <laughs> screw solomon he really just wanted to visit you know you know what i mean <laughs> but yeah 
uh, we're going to be doing the butterfly event that is going to end at the end of tomorrow. You can't get Solomon Dang. Ever, one of one of them seems like they're going to be stubborn no matter what it feels like. But yeah, we have a Levy spotlight event to read today. Um, and I'm surprised. Uh, have you stole your Solomon Queen? You can take him. I have three copies of him. I'm not going to cry over missing one. You know what I mean? <laughs> But yes, so Levy's got a really pretty art for this event, the Phantom Butterflies. Uh, guys, what are your thoughts on butterflies? I think they're pretty and they're they're kind of symbolic, but I actually have a friend who is afraid of butterflies. She does, she does not like butterflies, she's afraid of them, which is interesting. I guess she doesn't like the transformation, like concept or something you know what i need to ask her a little bit more why she's she's not into butterflies but the cards that we get for participating in the event are the you are the butterflies is banquet leviathan card with the skill a toast to new beginnings they're pretty pretty easy to destroy no no what did butterflies do to you but it just reminds me, there's this there's this Otome game. I don't think they've ported it yet. I think it's Vita only. Um, it's called uh, Psychedelica of the Black Butterfly. And um, that game's... I liked it. I enjoyed it. Um, very illusionary, like, kind of thing. Like, you're in a dream-like sequence and everything. Stuff feels off. These new faces don't feel quite as new. Um, there's a lot of things going on in the background um, that I really enjoyed from it. But, alas, I don't think they've ported it. They really should. There's also a sequel. Um, it, it has some reoccurring characters, but the pro tags are not the same. Um, I'm trying to remember what it's called. Uh, I actually liked the sequel a bit more than Black Butterfly. Oh well, I'll remember it at some point and I'll bring it up later, but... Um, it looks like Levy also might be afraid of butterflies considering uh, the artwork in the first part of the card before unlocking it. Uh, our Demon Memory UR card is Nectar of Love with the skill Seduction is my forte. Uh, which you would think that's something Asmo would have in the bag, but based off of this art, it's looking like Asmo is being um, charmed for once in his life. Then our usual, our, our regular SSR demon card is surprise gift with the skill dancing in the moonlight. And I think it's, I actually really like this card. It's super cute. Mephisto is getting harassed by a butterfly and 13 thinks it's hilarious. <laughs> I love butterflies, but I don't like when they fly near my face. Okay, that's fair. Personal space. Personal space. I, I feel like I, I feel that when I get bugs close to me. I'm not... I'm not too big on bugs within my personal space either. And I don't mean like butterflies, I mean like, you know, the, the pesky kind of bugs. I keep putting off playing through these events. I mean, they don't know when to let up on the gas pedal, so I get that. Some people are way too busy to play through the events. <laughs> true, the true Rizzler is MC, it is, that's true. So that's the card you can get from the event. The corresponding nightmare that's running alongside this event is Marvelous Nature with premium pictures, just like the last um, nightmare banner from the previ previous event that we read. But instead of them being, you know, instead of them being the shower premium pictures, they're still pretty, don't get me wrong. I just don't think it's fair. I just don't think it's fair that only uh, Mammon and, and Simeon get shower pictures as premium pictures. Because I definitely wanted a Diavolo one. It's okay. I'm not salty. But anyway, the cards you get, you are plus rainbow event, a Diavolo card with the skill exchanging wisdom. I still like the art. It's still really good. It's just, it's just, I want some equality. That's all. 
Uh, then we also have UR plus anywhere is okay with you, Solomon, with the skills Solomon Secret. And the SSR is Sand Gold Rush Mammon card with the skill Operation Win Big. He also ended up. I ended up pulling him a lot as well. I don't know if he's maxed skill level or not, but it sure felt like it. It really felt like it. I, uh, like I mentioned earlier, I ended up pulling Solomon three times, and I had to pull a hundred times out of this nightmare in order to get enough exchange tickets to be able to, uh, drag Diavolo home. And it looks like if you already, um, trade in once, it actually halves it, which is kind of interesting. It's not too bad, but I I'm done pulling. I just needed him once because I had enough uh, Joker UR plus cards to, sk to skill level him up at least one more time so I could unlock that premium <laughs> picture. <clears throat> that operation would fail. Ah! Mammon keeps showing up. Do for you whenever you want Solomon. Solomon. <laughs> Mammon just be in being dramatic still hot and sexy though that is true trevor that is true that is very true but there's a deep hope inside of me that eventually everyone will get premium pictures similar to the shower ones that mammon and Dimian had so yes i at least am close to being able to do another tin pull when the happy devil day banner drops but Speaking of that, we are getting, um, if you guys log in daily once that, that starts, uh, you'll get up to 200 fr free pools, which is super nice of them to do. I always look forward to Happy Devil Day when it comes around because we always get really good goodies. Hang on one second. Oh, I need to claim these. There we go. So those are the cards for the event and the nightmare. Let's go ahead and get into the story today. Temptation of the Phantom Butterfly. They're trying to redeem themselves for all the stinky events they've been dropping. Well, good. Good, they should. They, they really, really should. <laughs> I, am, uh, I am all for it. I'm all for free pulls, especially since... He let's be real, even though the events have been kind of... Mm, they've never really dropped the ball on card arts. Lightbringer card arts have been really nice. I'll give them that credit. I, ho I sure hope the artist is getting paid their due for all of the... For all of the eye candy they've been giving us lately, though. Also, uh, Paafi, thank you for the follow over on Twitch. Let me see. Zavi, I see you've returned. You should avoid entering the living room for now. Wait, why? It's the living room. It's where we go live. Uh-oh. Do you smell something? I don't like that option. Oh. Yes, you see... Levy. Levy what? Nyah! Nyah! <laughs> Oh, I still have a macaron left over from buying from the vendor yesterday. I will share with you, chat. Since I don't know where Stella is. Oh, there's Stella. Stella, why are you... Why are you on the floor? Why are you over on the floor? What are you doing? Meow. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing, baby? Oh, that s'mores macaron smells really good. Okay, here you go, chat. It's got a graham cracker on top and the chocolate layer underneath it. I'm going to assume the filling is going to be marshmallow. So nom 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 if you want the s'mores macaron. I'm not going to force you to eat it, but like, here you go if you would like it. <laughs> okay, let me, let me take a nibble. You're eating all of it, Hiki. You got to share with the garden. <laughs> one bite. No, don't inhale it. It does smell really good, though. Mmm. Okay, that really is good. It does taste like a s'more. 
I think this one and the Cosmic Brownie macarons are my favorite out of what I bought. That's really good. Della came up and was like, hey, yo. Hey, do you want a sniffer? Do you... Oh, oh, she's... Oh. Oh. Oh, do you want a licky? Do you want a nibble? <laughs> she's really sniffing it. No? You were really into it. Are you sure you don't want to... Stella? She's really inhaling it. Are you not gonna... Are you not... You're just gonna... Sniffa it? She's like, how do I eat this? Okay, she... <laughs> she does take a small licky, okay? <laughs> You're so goofy. You're so goofy, you know that? Like, stop, mom. Oh, thank you for the kissies. <laughs> Usually Stella won't eat anything I let her sniff. I'm surprised she would, the macaron. That means it's Stella certified. If you know Stella's willing to get a good sniff and some lickies, you know that that's gonna be good. Anyway. Ah! My nose! My nose! <laughs> my nose is being bombarded! I'm drowning in the aroma! Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I won't be defeated. This is a test given to me by the reincarnated villainous Lady L L Rosalind. <laughs> if I fail here, I'll never be able to face her. Oi. Levy, if you don't do something about this smell, you won't be facing anyone for a very long time. No. That includes Lavi. Oh no, you won't be able to see us anymore. Dang. I, I agree with Lucifer though. I have a very sensitive nose. I feel like I end up smelling things before a majority of uh, my friends and especially Arx does. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm not a fan. Huh? Huh? Lavi? You heard him. You won't be able to see me unless you get rid of that smell. And I agree. Pronto, get rid of it. What's, uh... Oh, hey, Lavi. Welcome home. How was class? Huh? Huh? What are you two doing all the way over there? Uh, come inside. Your nose is working correctly, right, Lavi? <laughs> I'm the opposite. I have a ter terrible sense of smell. Same. From what I understand, if you are exposed to really strong smells for a too long of a time, it it will also ruin your sense of smell. So that's why I try to stay away from a lot of heavy perfume and essential oils and stuff like that. The only kind of, I guess you could say, smells that I use is very like light uh, wax to burn on my wax uh, warmer and stuff like that. But also I can't use candles uh, in my tea garden. Uh, it's not allowed. But candles are a lot stronger anyway than wax melts too. Mega mind meme, no soap. <laughs> levy, levy, levy take a bath. <laughs> uh, my nose? Oh, do you mean the smell? Oh. So you do understand why we refuse to come near you after all. Mate, mate, mate. Wait, wait, wait. Is the entire House of Lamentation avoiding me? It's illegal to co call Otaku stinky, you know it is. Where's the law? Bring up the rule book, sir. Don't even get me started on stinky con, con funk. Ugh, con funk. I don't miss that. I do not miss that 100%. It's the whole reason why I never really went to uh, the board game room. You can always smell con funk in the board game room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are perfumes, and they actually smell really good. But the aromas got a bit intense after I mixed them together. You mixed per individual perfume together? Oh, no. 
this is all for, uh, Lady Rosalind, the main character of, I tell you about the time I was reincarnated as a villainess, but it would take years, I'm creating her signature perfume. What? But my nose has taken such a beating that my sense of smell is ruined. Yep, see, exactly. I don't... Lavi, will you check the sense for me instead? Hell no. You want me to ruin my sense of smell? No. No, I'm not going to do this. You can't make me. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want all of my perfume samples to go to waste just because I can't smell properly anymore. Well, you should have thought that before you did it. Please, Lavi. Uh, I guess I'll plug my nose and go take a look, because I don't have any other option here. It's not me that smells, okay? It's all of the perfumes, remember? <sighs> Doubt. Hmm. That won't be necessary with this. Oh, you have a solution? This mask is infused with magic extracted from the snout of a shadow hog. Put this on and it will protect your nose from the smell. Whoa! Yes! Thank you, Lavi. You've saved me from a life of loneliness. <laughs> oh, what? I don't know about that, sir. <laughs> huh? Now, let's get started. Uh, how will you smell anything with that mask on? That's the- that's the thing. I didn't want to smell in the first place. Um... Uh, ooh, wait, I can air out the room with magic? Yes, please, let's do that. Once lonely, always lonely, Levy. Embrace it. <laughs> yeah, it's just the curse you have to do, um, live with. It's a wind spell. Oh. Oh. The room suddenly smells fresh and clear like a grassy field. Mm-hmm. I did that. I did that. I did that. Uh. Uh, my nostrils feel clean again. Mm. Hmm? There's a pleasant scent lingering in the air. How can I explain it? It's, uh, sweet and calming. Mm. Like the scent that draws a butterfly to a flower. Not that I would personally know, but that's how enticing it smells to me. Uh? That's kind of poetic, actually, Levy. Was there a special perfume that not even magic can erase? No. Oh. That scent is coming from Lavi. Oh, yeah? Huh. Interesting. Uh. What? <laughs> uh, I can't believe I said something so embarrassing. I need a moment al alone. Go in the corner. Lavi, go in your corner. Hey, what's all this excitement about? Let me in on some of the f- Order? Is that perfume I smell? Oh. Yes, it is. Uh, I'm right in the middle of creating a Lady Rosalind's signature perfume. Oh, that character from that villainous anime you've been into lately, right? Anone? While I'm all for you making perfumes, could you do it while I'm not around? Wait, what? Hmm? I thought you liked this kind of thing, Asmo. Mm. I do, but I can't have any other scents on me right now. Mm. I've been asked to test test scents and be the ambassador for a new brand of perfume. What what a coincidence. What a coincidence. Uh, where did they find you? Eh? On my way home from class. Why? Mm. What brand is this? Mm. They're only just getting off the ground, so they haven't decided on a name yet. Oh. Did they provide a name or any contact information at all? Lucifer dad mode activate. Mm. Uh, now that I think about it, they didn't share any of that. They only gave me a bottle of their perfume. That is suspicious, Asmo. You don't just take random gifts off the street. Uh, d doesn't that sound a little suspicious? Oh, no. Sh 
surely, surely, surely it's not been spiked with anything. No. <laughs> Why wouldn't they give a name or a number when scouting out ambassadors? Usually they hand out a business card or something. Oh. I agree. Mm? How will they get in contact with you in the future? Eh? I don't know. They didn't say. But can't I go to the shop myself? I heard it's a shop with a butterfly sign. Eh? Who stopped you? What did they look like? Mm. I didn't get a good look at their face. They were wearing a big hooded robe. Asmo! Asmo! I... I... I believed you were better than this. Mm. <laughs> they said they were looking for ambassadors for the store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's definitely suspicious. You're being scammed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you worried too much, Lavi. Tell me you don't agree with these two. I 100% agree with them, Asmo. I'm worried about you too, you dingus. Aw, <laughs> oh, you are? <laughs> That's so sweet. But I swear everything's fine. Nah. You haven't even smelled it yet. Once you do, your worries will be blown away. You're literally gonna blow me away with that perfume. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, give it a whiff, then we can talk. Hey. Mm. It certainly has a pleasant scent. The aroma is complex and deep. It's hard to explain in one word. Huh. The, this aroma, noble and elegant, but lovely in the way it lingers above the rest. <laughs> this is the scent of Lady Rosalind. Excuse me, I am the face of this perfume, and it's way too early to be talking about collaborations. Huh? You can do a Lady Rosalind collaboration? This would be a huge deal for Otaku. Yeah, yeah. I'm not like you, Levy. But you should be in times like this. <laughs> One of us. One of us. Yes, Lucifer? Uh, what is it, Lucifer? Did you catch something? Mm? Lavi, can you sense that? Concentrate on the smell. Hmm. Asmo, with every sweet deal, there is always a catch. What's the catch? How bad are we in for today? What do you mean by catch? Mm. I can sense a strange power coming from that perfume. Not magic, but it's combined with a power unlike anything I recognize. Oh, even Lucifer can't decipher this? Uh-oh. Uh, now that you mention it, you're right. This perfume might not be ordinary. Eh? I didn't know that you knew so much about perfume, Levy. Oh. I didn't until recently when I nearly lost my sense of smell in my pursuit of creating a signature perfume for Lady Rosalind. It may have made my nose sensitive to different smells. Oh. That perfume smells nothing like any of the aromas I tested earlier. It's as if it invades your head through your nose. Oh no, I hate that. I hate when a sm uh, smell is so strong, it like goes all the way up through your nose and you can feel it just like lingering up there. That's the worst. A perfume with this kind of enticing scent would normally be marketed and sold to a famous brand. Mm. It sells itself. They have no need for a middleman like Asmo to promote it. <laughs> Or they just wanted someone just as special to promote their special perfume. Fate has the power to bring all sorts of things together. Beautiful things deserve an owner that's equally beautiful. Nah. <laughs> right, Lavi? Hope. 
The fact remains, there's something strange about that perfume, whether they intentionally went after you because you're beautiful asthma or not. Mm. Uh, well, if you have that much, much to say about it, then maybe I should be a bit more concerned too. Asmo, uh, let me see your perfume. Mm. Everyone in the Lady Rosalind community is t into perfumes right now. There's a few experts I can ask. This butterfly design on the bottle could be a hint. <laughs> if there's anyone who can find information online, it's you, Levy. I it was a compliment. Hey, good job, Lucifer. <laughs> <laughs> Never underestimate the insight and observation skills of an otaku. Nah. I'll let you borrow it, but don't lose it in the clutter and end up using it to make your Lady Rosalind perfume. Huh? Huh? I'm not interested in using it for my perfume. Oh. I want to get to the bottom of where this came from because I'm worried about you, Asmo. Yada. Uh, Levy. Iggy, Levy, you sound so cool right now. Levy, you're being a good older brother. Huh? D did I do something? Is this some kind of prank? Mm. Yeah, you're pretty cool, Levy. Huh? I blushy, otaku blushes, let's go. I asked some otaku who were familiar with perfume and butterfly designs, but that specific combination is apparently pretty common. Mm. Hmm? There's that nice smell again. It smells kind of like Asma's perfume. Who's wearing it? Mm. Belfi, I sure hope you didn't accidentally use the perfume, because that, that would be no bueno. This room smells just like my room. <sighs> It makes me want to take a nap. Mm. Belfi smells just like Asmo's perfume. Nah. Belfi, did you uh, put on perfume today? Mm. It's not perfume, it's pillow spray. Wait, pillow spray? Is that a thing? Mm. Beale bought it for me from a shop with a butterfly design on his way home from school. Oh no! Beale also got duped. Mm. The spray is supposed to have a calming effect that helps you sleep better at night. Huh? A shop with a butterfly design? Or sign? It has to be the same one that Asmo got the perfume from. Uh... I really think we should ask Beal what's going on. It is a thing you can get lavender ones? Ooh. I don't think I've ever seen any before. Beal's working at his pop part-time job today. We wanted to ask where he bought the pillow mist. Huh. If you're worrying about the location, he said that it was from a shop near a villainous muffin stand. Huh. So it's a little off the path we normally walk to, Rad. Oh. But I can't remember seeing any side signs like the one we're looking for around there. Oh. It's already late. We'll have to check it tomorrow, Lavi. Okay, we have two foreign perfumes. I sure hope we don't get another one. Looking at Mammon. Huh? Well, this is around the area of the villainous muffin. Huh? There's nothing but empty lots and houses and shops. Uh, I don't see a butterfly sign anywhere either. What's going on here? Nanda. <gasps> Holy shit, it's my fest, though. Well, if it isn't Leviathan and Lavi, you two look lost. So? As if we'd be lost in a place like this. Yeah. Uh, well, we can't even find the shop we're looking for, so maybe we are lost. Mm hmm? A shop? Oh. We're looking for a shop with a butterfly sign. They sell perfume? My family has a long history with the land in this area, but as you can see, this land is all being redeveloped. 
Mm. There isn't a single shop around here that I am unaware of. But I've never seen this butterfly sign that you speak of. Yeah, this is... <gasps> I figured. Oh. Asmo hasn't been to the shop before either. Oh. Beale is the only one who claims to have been there. We'll have to talk to him. Ah, uh, Beale holds the key. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Belfi, are you absolutely positive? Uh-oh. Uh. Yeah, it was definitely Asmo. Uh-oh, what's going on? What's happened to Asmo? <sighs> Asmo has disappeared. He was last seen just outside of the forest. Oh. Wait, seriously? He's gone? Snap! Asmo's gone missing? No! I'll have to say it's very refreshing that Asmo's gone missing instead of our usual suspect brothers. <laughs> Because it could have been Belfi. If Belfi, like, went outside and fell asleep, he could have definitely gotten, uh, quote-unquote, misplaced. I'm actually kind of liking the pacing of this event, though. We do have a split already. It feels a little too soon, in my opinion. But let's go ahead and check the bottom route. I went to Fuse Personas. What is happening? <laughs> uh... Someone has been peddling, um, questionable perfume, um, and Asmo's gone missing because of it. Well, we're at the site where Asmo was last seen. I'll admit it's a pretty forest, but there doesn't seem to be anything special about it. Nah. Where's Stella? Hang on, guys. One moment. I'm going to see if Stella wants out because she's not in her... She's not up in her usual spot. Wait. Hey! No, I'll let you out. She's sniffing the the no no spot. Hey, no. She probably wants to go potty, so I'm gonna go let her out. Okay, yeah, there. Yeah, I'm trying to keep an eye on her because a couple weeks ago she went potty where she's not supposed to in the tea break garden. They're trying to trying to break her from doing that again. It's it's been a off and on problem, so we thought we finally broke her of it because it, it had been quite a long time. But the thing with Stella is she's not very vocal when she needs to be. Like she doesn't meow when she wants the curtain open or the blinds open she doesn't meow when she wants food she doesn't meow when she wants to go to the potty she only meows like when she's lonely <laughs> that's it hope she's okay yeah she's okay she's just she's just a funky little fluff ball she just pisses on the floor to get your attention no oh, no but yeah, that's why I've been trying to be more wary about where she's at when I'm streaming, so, uh... I can catch her. And it's- I think she kind of knows she's not supposed to do it, but like... She's not willing to let me know when she wants out! <laughs> like, girl! Why? <laughs> ah! One of my cats used to do that too. Was- did you ever figure out how to- to, to break him of it, Queen? Because like... We've tried, um, calming sprays and stuff like that. And, like, the only way we kind of figured out was to, like, lay a, uh, pet training pad in that area, but upside down, because she won't... She won't go on top of it. But she'll just find a different area in the same room I'm in if, if I don't have the door open. <laughs> She's such an introvert. She really is. Hmm. Let me finish this s'mores macaron.
Mm-hmm. No, we never did. She would pee and poop around the house even though she had a litter tray and knew how to use it. See, that sounds like an anxiety... Um... Slash territorial thing, in my opinion, but... Which is also what we thought was Stella. So that's why we heard, like... They just need to not be so... Um... Stressed out all the time. So we tried to give her a, so a soothing collar and soothing sprays, and that didn't do anything. Yeah, I think it was an anxiety thing, but we never found out for sure. Yeah, it's so hard to tell when it comes to cats sometimes. I think personally for Stella, she just really likes my company because she's a COVID cat. And so, like, I never really had to leave the house because of the work from home accommodations request. You know, until now. So now, sometimes Arx will tell me, uh, and our roommate will tell me that whenever I'm in the office, she'll be, like, very vocal and needy, you know? I'm just like, no! Stella, I wish I could stay with you. Like I used to. But, unless I manage to find a full remote job, this is just how it's going to have to be for a bit. Either that or she just really didn't want to use the litter tray as she had to share the litter box with our other cat. That too! I know cats sometimes want their own personal space and don't want to share. I can see that as well. Imagine if that was more common for humans, everything and everywhere would be stinking, <laughs> no! My poor nose wouldn't be able to handle it. Hmm, <clears throat> okay, I have finished that macaron. Man, those macarons were good. They were kind of expensive. It was like six macarons for 15 doll hairs, but they were good. Hey, I think that's Asmo over there being swarmed by butterflies. Hmm? Is he playing with them or trying to catch them? Mm, let's go take a closer looky loo. Eh? Such pretty butterflies. Their wings are mesmerizing. Huh? Uh, but we can't let our guards down in front of unknown creatures. It's the pretty looking ones we need to be especially careful around. Holy shit. <laughs> Levy. Levy on point with that. That's another reason why I picked Alrane as a species, because they're very pretty flower girlies. But yeah, they they will eat you. Levy, Levy, Levy got Levy got his facts in check. <laughs> hmm. My nose feels itchy. I think I breathed in some butterfly dust. Uh-oh. I've never had macarons. I'll have to try them sometime. Yeah, I I uh really like them. They're one of my favorites, uh favorite sweets because like they have a crunchy little like top and bottom shell. Um they're basically just like cream cream filled uh little little sandwiches. I've had macarons. They aren't great, but I don't hate them. Oh, I just want to make sure that you guys are talking about macarons and not macaroons. Because you guys are spelling them like macaroons. And macaroons and macarons are different. I've never had a macaroon. But macaron only has a one O. Macaroons have the two O's. They will eat you. Bold of you to assume that I don't want to be consumed by a beautiful lady shaking my head. Oh! <laughs> Oh my gosh, Shiki. You are a different kind of breed. I appreciate you. <laughs> oh, I didn't know there was a difference? Yeah, there's a difference. Here, let me... Yeah, I used to say... I used to spell macarons with the double O until I realized that they're actually two different things. Um... So macarons are a French sweet. Maca macaroons are... Why don't you auto? Hmm. 
macaroons will kind of have like coconut in them and i can't really have coconut i'm not a big fan of coconut they're both macarons and macaroons are both um cookies but your your macarons are gonna be um uh they're, they're gonna look completely different than macaroons um there's actually a uh let's see let me let me see if i can get down to this here we go <clears throat> so it says macaroons are not macarons Macarons and macaroons are two completely different cookies. Macaroons have an extra O in the name and are coconut cookies. Macarons are delicate sandwich cookies. So these are what macarons look like. The top and bottom are supposed to be light and fluffy, but with a very crispy top layer. But when I was looking around, uh, maca macaroons, they were looking like this. However, what's really funny is, uh, like that. Those would be like macaroons. The chocolate drizzle looks nice, but I still can't do, uh, a food item where the majority is coconut. I can eat um, chocolate that uses coconut milk, but like that's about the extent of uh, coconut that I can take. Oh yeah, that's the macaroon, is the one that you had. Okay, yeah, so then, so you had a macaroon and not a macaron. I want to try making macarons now. I'll most likely burn the kitchen down. I hear they're kind of hard to make. I'll be honest. Otherwise, I would be interested in trying to make them too. Um, but there's also a different in taste of um, macarons, like store-bought macarons versus ones that are actually made in a bakery. The Obviously, the bakery ones are going to be so much better. But like the s'more one I showed on camera earlier, that was like a special fancy one. Um, most pastries are also going to have them look basically like these, the plain colored and such like that. Oh, I was thinking of macarons, but I thought it was called macaroons. Yeah, I can't believe that they're so similar. Like, and I can see why people get them mixed up. But yeah, macaroons are going to be coconut based. Uh, whereas macarons can be any flavor. I think common flavors, though, are going to be, you know, obviously vanilla, chocolate, uh, blueberry cheesecake, cookies and cream, um, birthday cake, uh, velvet. Those are just a handful of flavors of macarons that I've had before. So that is some uh, sweet treat um, information for today, guys. I still don't know the difference. I'm so smart. Hey, gay. So I've had macarons. Yes, queen, that is correct. Um, I've only ever had macarons. I've never had a macaroon. And I don't think I'll personally try one since now that I know they're basically coconut cookies. But even I think a majority of people get them mixed up because obviously I, when I Googled it, I typed in macaroons, the coconut one, but, but Google was like, see results about macaron. <laughs> so even Google, I think is a little confused on it too. <laughs> I've never had either. I highly suggest trying a macaron. Uh, just pick whatever flavor you think is nice and try it. Um... Because they, they pair really well with uh, tea time, like gatherings slash like tea breaks and stuff like that. Um, they're kind of like, they're kind of like, um, 
what you would have for like a regular English like tea time, whereas you know Japanese has those little little round sweets that you have before you do your tea ceremony. So you have your nice little scones and like sandwiches and stuff, and like you'll have your uh what are they called? Your tarts and stuff. Macarons are also like a thing used as well. I don't think they're, you know, as wide known because they're for, for at least for English tea time because they're a French thing. They were originally a French uh sweet. So you would usually have your, you know, UK scones and such instead. How do you have so much grim? I'm crying. I stink at this game. <laughs> hi, hi, nerdy. Um, I have a lot of grim because I also play uh, pay for VIP and uh, I check in pretty, pretty daily. I check in at least once a day, if not twice a day, is how I've gotten so much uh, grim. I thought those were the same tomato tomatoes kind of deal yeah i think that's another thing is people think it's just a pronunciation like difference tomato tomato caramel caramel kind of thing i'm slightly sick but you're here though hi puppy hi thank you for joining us i hope you feel better soon i hope the stream makes you feel better you're at least in good company here yeah, I think that's why I was confused as I was looking up the pictures for macarons. But it still said they were called macaroons. <laughs> poor, poor macaroons have been overshadowed by macarons. But, I mean, I can see why, because macarons are like one specific thing. They have to have coconut in them to be a macaron. Whereas, uh... Or, excuse me, macaroon, whereas French macarons can, like, be so many different flavors. So, and, and even then, I think macarons can taste kind of wildly different, depending on how you go about making them. Which is another reason why I like them. Because there's many different flavors many different ways you can enjoy them. I just realized I have Joker at level 69. Yo, nice. Ah, oh, man, I wish I... Wait, I think I can still have this trigger even though uh, I'm not streaming on Twitch right now. Let me see. Where is it? Where is it? Mm, test trigger. Nice. There we go. I know of them and I've seen them around, but I still didn't get the name right. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. I know I'm in I'm so I'm so poor and obey me. Another thing is is I kind of hoard my grim. I have I've only been leveling up at least five levels of a card each day to get the the daily like mission out of the out of the way definitely we'll have to try them yeah let me know let me know uh how you like them or if you like them or if you don't like them either way lavi would i be able to beat the persona bestie at level 69 um shoot i wish arx was here so he could tell me what level the uh the reaper is uh for persona 5 let me see It really de it also really depends on what personas you have, Hiki. Uh, Persona by Reaper. Rip Reaper. Uh, but yes, welcome in Nerdy and Marato. I hope today's been well, well for you guys. Um, also known as Death. <laughs> okay, thanks. No, where did I click on? No, don't click on that. Um, he's level 85, Kiki. I'd say save and then fuck around and find out just because Tihi 69. Close enough. 
He doesn't have any weaknesses, by the way. Um, but yeah, you you will just have to really tough him out. He's a he looks like a pain in the butt for uh, Persona Five because he's got uh, Tama and Mudo. So I would fuse a Persona that blocks dark and light so you don't get instead he has all that yes <laughs> he does have all these <laughs> you know what maybe shits and giggles aren't worth it uh... <laughs> the backtrack yeah if you if you get in a tussle with him that early you might be able to do it but it's going to be a long fight It can be, it can still be downed by downshot. I guess that's the only ex uh, exploit you could do is get a persona with the skill downshot. Theurgy is really useful to beat him for reload. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would say, I would say so as well. But Hiki's playing Persona 5 Royal. So, so Hiki's playing uh, or fighting Bestie in uh, Royal. Yeah, no, you're good, Mara. You're good, you're good. I'll have to get to that point as well at some rate, because I never actually played Royal. I watched Arx play it. I played OG per Persona 5. So plans are to play Royal as well. Okay. To everyone that is uh, just now coming in, we are already reading the lower part of the, the event, since that's just how events go now they're just super short but asmo has been kidnapped into the forest due to some strange perfume that's been cycling around um and there are there are a bunch of butterflies a bunch of butterflies Achoo. Talking of games, I've been wanting to play Fire Emblem, but I can only get, like, uh, one hand with my current devices. Aww. A one game with your current devices. What kind of, which Fire Emblem would you be interested in, Queen? I've been working all day. Now I have hours of statistics to do. I'm just going to power through it while listening to old two Kansai uploads after I watch you. Levy and Satan say you ch channel. Oh! I did not know, um, Levy and Satan had a panel together. I know Levy did the, like, interview stuff. I'll have to look into that. <laughs> I hope this uh, statistics aren't too mind-numbing for you, nerdy. Yeah, they're, they're, they're voice actors, yeah. It's an intruder! Uh-oh. Huh? Cosmo, it's just us. Go, phantom butterflies. Capture the intruders. Uh-oh. Mm. Be gentle with Lavi, though. That's one. That one's my favorite. <laughs> so As my nose, it's up. <laughs> what the? Hey, Asmo. <laughs> God. <laughs> okay, so Asmo's under... I'm gonna assume the butterflies is a uh, spell thanks to the perfume. But his, the fact that he's still, like, aware it's us is pretty hilarious. <laughs> yeah, so Nishi-san and Miura-san do too. Ooh! I know I'm following, um, uh, Kobayashi-san. He does, he does some streams, um, Mammon's, uh, Seiyu. Line up the intruders so I can see them. Lavi, you stand right next to me. What's going on? Since when do you give them orders? Are you their leader now? <laughs> <laughs> I am the leader of the Phantom Butterflies. They've chosen me to captivate the Deviledom with the most allure, the most glamour, as the most beautiful demon in the... Wait, do I... I do that already. <laughs> Esmo has an army of butterflies. <laughs> Okay, um, playtime's over, Asmo. You can't just do this. Hi. Aw, can't I play for just a little longer? Fine. Ano ne? 
These rare butterflies you see are called phantom butterflies. Lately, their population has been decreasing, so they began venturing into the village in search of more friends. Huh? So, the perfume in the pillow mist that Beale bought was... Mm. It was given to me by the phantom butterflies in disguise. They were hiding inside the robe, and at the shop that Beale went to was an illusion. <laughs> when I put on the perfume, it lured me into their forest, which is why you found me playing with them. As thanks, they gave me a whole bunch of perfume. So, what? what did you say? Yo, Asmo, what the hell? Asmo almost pulled the wool over my eyes, though. I thought, I thought, I really did think we were, oh, we were about to have to snap him out of this bullshit. <laughs> well, he'd been playing with us while, while also playing with the butterflies, too. I'm really not sure which one to be honest. Maybe three houses, but I can only get Fire Emblem Heroes. Oh, the gotcha. The gotcha might be a little tough because of, like, all of the... Literally every single character that's made an appearance in the Fire Emblem series is available there. Um, I mean, it does have its own story, though. But, like, because you hadn't played any of the other games, you you might not be as attached to, like, characters and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, there's no history. Um, Three Houses is a great game, in my opinion. My first one was Three Houses, and it's really good. I do agree. Uh, if you are getting into Fire Emblem, Three Houses is a good entry point. Uh, I would also say so is Awakening, since Awakening kind of, like... Uh, Remodernized the Fire Emblem series, um, but it's only on 3DS, which is the downside. So, like, the only ones that would have easier access to modern consoles would, yeah, it would either be Three Houses or Engage, like Ivy. Ivy said those are the only ones um, on the Switch. And there's also, uh, what's it? Three Hopes, but it's kind of like a, it, it's it takes place in three houses like lore wise and stuff like that so i wouldn't really i wouldn't really suggest that one uh be, also because the gameplay is different the gameplay is like dynasty warriors um dynasty warriors and well it's a muso game is what it is it's you just you you beat the crap out of loads of trash enemies and claim Lots on the map and stuff like that. Three Hopes is okay. Yeah, yeah, I agree, Ivy. It, it's okay. Uh, but you're not going to get, like, the full Fire Emblem experience if you only play Hopes. So, I would, yeah, I agree. Engage or, um, Three Houses. Engage does, does, um, have characters from previous entries, though. Um, they reside inside rings that the... Uh, engage cast are able to use to help assist them so you're still kind of missing some context though if you don't know about previous fire emblem entries too <laughs> engage is kind of like the whole mm, final fantasy 9 of the fire emblem series where like they have throwbacks and like homages to previous fire emblem games and such like that so it's good if, like, Engage is also really good if you've already been a long-standing Fire Emblem fan. It gives you some nice little treats to nibble on while you play it. They don't spoil too much, so it's nice in Engage. Yes, exactly. Like, they'll give you nods and little wink wonk if you've played the other entries. Yeah. Just like Final Fantasy Final just like Final Fantasy IX, but I would say more so than Final Fantasy IX since they actually have characters from the previous games actually end up in that game. Nine doesn't have any previous Final Fantasy characters in Nine. They just have little, little context clues and stuff like that. I have to look into getting a Switch as I keep wanting to play games that are on there. The Switch has a very robust library. I do agree. The Switch is a very nice console. Do you have any advice on what order is best to play them? It really depends because if you're going to look at Fire Emblem games 
uh, before Awakening, they don't have the option to keep units that die on the map alive. Like, any Fire Emblem game before Awakening, if you mess up your strategy um, for a fight and get one of your characters killed, they're dead. They're perma-dead. They will not come back. Uh, Awakening and afterwards has a mode you can choose where if you don't have good brain cells like me um, and you mess up and a character dies, they'll come back. <laughs> so, that's true. Earlier games are harder in that regard. Yes. Yes. Yes, I agree. So, Ivy might be best to ask about what order to play them because I've not played any Fire Emblem games before Awakening. I've only played Awakening, uh, I've only played Awakening Conquest, uh, Three Houses, Three Hopes, and Engage. Though I really, I hear, and this is also from Arx, that the games where you play as Ike are really good, which I think is Sacred Sword and... One other one, like Ike and Micaiah's games are really good. So. That's as much as I got, but I really do like Three Houses. Um, the thing about Three Houses is it has a uh, school kind of system, which isn't in any of the other Fire Emblem games. Because you end up being a professor. So you have, you have kids but they're not really kids because you're like in similar of age but you're just a badass on the battlefield so that's why you're their professor to cheat to teach you gotta teach them them some things plus three houses has uh three different cl uh, classes you can choose from and their storylines are different so it gives you a lot of replayability as well all right so asma's been pulling the wool over our eyes if you received that much, then let me have some. I need it to complete Lady Rosalind's signature perfume. Eh? What? No way. Now that there's no brand to sponsor me, I'm going to market this perfume under my own name. Hey, maybe you should consult with the butterflies first to make sure they're okay with that, because they're the ones who technically made it and gave it to you, Asmo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lady Rosalind can be part of your rebranding, please. Yeah, yeah. I already told you, it's too soon for collaborations. Oi. I cannot believe the disrespect I'm hearing. You have no respect for Lady Rosalind. What's a big bonk, not gonna lie. I don't know YouTube live had, had, live had commands for streams. That's because I actually had to make them nerdy. Um, I'm actually using third party uh, software to be able to have those happen. Since YouTube is not really implementing good stuff that they really should be implementing like like the emotes and s subsystem stuff that twitch has thank you hiki thank you for the demonstration um but big bonk won't work unless you are a ah, member of the uh, channel so some of them some of them any regular like uh subscriber can use but the ones that say members only uh, you would have to, like, do the join button thingy-ma-bob to be a channel member thingy-ma-bob. <laughs> yes, here's a demonstration of the commands available on YouTube. There's a lot more that can be done on Twitch, though, because Twitch allows channel point redeems. So, like, as you watch me on Twitch, you get macarons that you can exchange to have more things happen. They're just a lot more easier to implement over on Twitch compared to YouTube. And I don't have to pin a message compared to over here. And I have a character limit to how much I can, like, uh, um, um, type over on YouTube. So I could try and put more in, but, like, if I tried to put everything from Twitch over onto YouTube, there would be too much to put in one paragraph, so I wouldn't be able to pin it to the top of chat, unfortunately. Sadly enough. Oh, my salty doesn't work still. I need to... I need to... I 
need to fix that. <laughs> Why did Salty become Pats? Because I didn't put Salty back into Vignon. Here, I'll do it right now. Let me see. Because I forgot to do that the other day when another person redeemed it. So let me fix it. Hang on. While I'm here, already talking about it. Otherwise, I'm going to forget again. Let's see. There's head pads. There's salty. Now, I got to make it not big. I got to fix it. It's too big. Move. This is a little too big, or... I just want to make sure the salt shaker can be seen. That's giant. I know, I have to rescale anything that I put in my VTuber, um... Uh, application. Okay. That should work. It's a tiny, tiny salt. Okay. And I need to link it. <laughs> you think it looks good, big? I mean, usually things are better when they're bigger. Okay, where is that? Where's the command for it? I gotta link it together. You got carried away? No, actually, I'm glad that you tested a majority of them. Make sure they work. Since I had to move my computer over. It's not there. Where is it? Where did I put? Wait, I think I found it. Aha, okay. Okay, switch it to this. Switch that to this. Hide that. And then hide that. Okay, if someone wouldn't mind doing exclamation point salty to make sure that it's all linked up now, I would be very grateful. Also, who's Lady Rosalind? Lady Rosalind is... Yay, it works! Um, Lady Rosalind is um, a character in an a villainous anime that Levy has decided to hyperfixate on for this event. <laughs> but yes, that's uh, usually how commands work over here on YouTube. Seasoning, seasoning me. Ah, that's a lot of salt. You guys are going to have a lot of sodium if you eat me. All right. Levy, no disrespect. I cannot believe the disrespect I'm hearing. You have no respect for Lady Rosalind. Mm. For a sec, I thought the access was a hat. And I was going to say I love it as a 3D artist. Oh, no. Yeah, if that that is that is how I'm able to adjust things within the 3D space, nerdy. Yeah, Salty does work now. Thank you guys for testing it out. Okay, that's enough fighting you two. Hmm? The phantom butterflies are gathering around Lavi. I bet they want me to be their friend. I wonder what they want. <laughs> huh? Are the butterflies attracted to something about you that only they can sense? Mm. As long as they don't try anything funny. Huh? <laughs> this looks like they're hiding their true intentions under the guise of play. 
what they're really trying to do is turn Lavi into their phantom butterfly leader. You know what? I actually wouldn't mind that. Since butterflies actually help with the nectar for flowers and plants. They can stay here with me. I shall be the phantom butterfly uh, leader. Oi. You won't take Lavi away from us? Not while we have Lucifer, the eldest of the seven rulers who can turn even the most insufferable brat into a mild-mannered child. Are you s talking about Satan, Levy? <laughs> yeah. Surely this is something you can handle without my help. Wait, what? Is he tapping out? Wait a minute. The butterflies seem to be attracted to Lavi's scent. That's all. Yeah, I smell good. Mm. I am a plant. I smell good. They think that the phantom butterfly perfume compliments Lavi the best. Mm. Oh, uh, is that it? Well, there's no denying that fact. Mm. There's a special scent floating in the air while Lavi is in the forest. It means that Lavi's scent complements the perfume well. Mm. So, we should probably let Lavi have the perfume instead. Mm. A nice perfume such as this should be used by someone whose aroma complements it the best. Mm -hmm. Even I have a perfume that suits me the best. Hmm. We should find special perfume for everyone. I don't know if my nose can handle that. Though I am interested in what the brothers would smell like. Wait, didn't they do... Didn't they do an obey me cologne thing? I think they did. I'm pretty sure they did. They did! They did, they did, they did, they did. Because, like... I found out that that's kind of a thing for, um... Over in Japan, they like to do perfume smell collabs for, like, um, anime and video games. I found that out back when I was into Diabolic Lovers because uh, the shoe doll that I bought um, overseas, the person had shoes Sakamaki's cologne and they sprayed some of it on the doll. Well, I got to smell like, I got to, I got to smell what he smells like. They did? Yes, they did. Here it is. Here's the Obey Me um, perfumes. But what really sucks is since it's like a flammable liquid, you can't really import it. Uh, there are restrictions on perfumes and such for shipping it. So I've never actually been able to um, own a Japanese like collab. Uh, smells. Smelly smells. But the, the, the shoe one smelled really good. It was like... I don't know how to s I don't I don't know how to describe it. It was like a mellow kind of nice musky scent. Like I would say they got it on point for that character. Like if I had to imagine what a character would smell like, they got it right. <laughs> Interesting. What are the smells because I know in Japan wearing strong smells is taboo. Taboo. So I wonder what they went for. I, I think I was looking at the smells and let's see, I'm on Reddit. Maybe hopefully this person. Mm, I know I looked at what they, they said cause they like broke down what they, what they, what the smells were like. Um, holy shit, $135 on eBay. Ooh, baby! Oh, wait. Ooh, okay, so Diovelo is a uh, pomegranate pink pepper watermelon with rose, hyacinth, nutmeg, and sandalwood, musk, amber, and vanilla. That's... That, oh, oh, pomegranate and watermelon and rose? Oh! Um, Barbatos is... Bergamot, which is a tea. Iris, uh, Silomon, Violet, Cedarwood, White Vanilla, Ginger, White Sandalwood, Heliotrope, and Musk. 
Man, that mm, bergamot and violet. The, I, I remember making the exact same reaction when I was reading what they had put in here because, dude, they, they sound so good. Luke's is lemon, lime, grapefruit, bergamot, narrowly mandarin, fruity citrus, musk, and leafy green. That's That smells like it would be a very nice, pleasant, light kind of perfume. Simeon is anise, almond, mandarin, apple, heliotrope, iris, ooh, jasmine, um, muget, vanilla, tonka beans, because coffee, uh, labdanum, and oak moss. Solomon's is bergamot, hasu miso, I've never heard of that before, crocus, wild rose, iris, Heliotrope, Violet, Amber, Crystal Mint, White Cedar, and Musk. Uh, crap, what are the brothers as though? Because I'm pretty sure they like... ...said what they were made up of. Okay, here we go. Lucifer's is bergamot, eucalyptus, leaf, leaf note, cosmos, iris, lavender, casablanca, pine tree, sandalwood, amber, and oak moss. Mammon's is lime, eucalyptus, juniper berry, grapefruit, spike lavender, tonka beans, vetiver, hachioli, cedarwood, musk, and prunes. So kind of fruity. The grapefruit would really stand out. Unfortunately, I can't eat grapefruit, though, because of my meds. I can't have anything grapefruit grapefruit, or from the grapefruit family, which sucks because I do like grapefruit. Hi, Ama. You're all right. We're getting distracted looking at what the Obey Me perfumes are about. Since uh, this event is about perfumes. Levy's is... Cloves, nutmeg, black pepper, eucalyptus, camphor tree, uh, benzoin, sandalwood, cedarwood, musk, and amber. I'm actually kind of surprised that this is what they put in for levies because I figured they would put like a nice kind of like beach slash like ocean refreshing breeze kind of smell for his perfume. But it doesn't seem like that's the case based off of these ingredients. I am alive. Hi, Arx. Welcome back for being alive. Uh, Satan's is lemon, grapefruit, chamomile, ozone note, clary sage, white rose, Casablanca, white cedar, musk, amber, and frankincense. I would like to see what this smells like because we've got like fruity, like smells mixed in with herbs and rose. He's also got Casablanca just like Lucifer does. Then Asmos is bergamot, basil, cloves, gerberia, rose, muget, carnation, pacioli, musk, sandalwood, and vanilla. I think Asmos probably would smell like the most flowery. And like not like one that's overpowering either. Beals is orange, cloves, cinnamon, ooh, cinnamon, rosemary, cumin, cedarwood, muguet, pacioli, vanilla, vet vetiver, and amber. I think I would also like Beals uh smell as well. I'm in a lot of pain all of a sudden. Oh no, queen, please rest. Please rest. Please get an ice pack. Take a moment. Breathe. And then Belfie's is lemon, pear, neroli, muget, rose, peach. Ooh, peach. Iris, white musk, cedarwood, amber, and vanilla. I also do like me some peach. Peach smells really nice. So that's what... That is what the uh, Obey Me boys would smell like, as well as the side characters. I think I'd be, I think I would actually really be into um, Beale, Asmo, um, 
Diavolo and Barbatos's perfumes, if I had to pick. Adding the vanilla in for Belfi is so amazing. Yeah. Because vanilla is always a nice, um, even tone to, to put in. I'll be okay. I just have a sudden bad toothache, so that can't be good. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hope it's, yeah, I hope it's nothing too bad. Um, when Arx would get toothaches, he would put some kind of oil in there arcs do you happen to remember what kind of oil it was you'd put back in your uh, back in and on your gums to help ease your toothaches but yeah he he's he's had a lot of tooth problems but i hope it's not too bad for you queen wow i got in and my window crashed a good start for me oh no oh no Clove oil. Yeah, that's what it was. You'd buy like a small bottle of clove oil and, and put it back in there on your on your teefers to help with the aches. But yeah, I, I'm hoping someday Japan will be willing to cross that boundary and actually be willing to ship these uh, kinds of collab colognes and perfumes. Because ya the Yakuza series also did a perfume cologne collab. And I'm just kind of interested in what some of them would smell like as well. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm. That being said, let's find special perfume for everyone. Huh? Shinada. Uh. I, I, you know what? I wonder if they did perfume for Akiyama. I'm sure, I'm sure they had to put some essence of cigarette butt in there, though. <laughs> Let's be real. All of the Yakuza guys would kind of smell a little... What is that word for cigarette smoke? You know, where, where it kind of clings and just kind of sits there because, like, all of them smoke. Akiyama specifically just smells like cigarettes and booze. <laughs> the poor guy. And money, though. He would... Yeah. You gotta balance that out with some green money. Some yens. Oh my god, if they did Bungo Stray Dogs or Demon Slayer. It's it's very possible. Like, really popular... Uh, uh, IPs are getting the, the, the high-end, like like watches and like suits and and perfume and cologne the money is light <laughs> oh my gosh belfi belfi doesn't care well, i don't care as long as it helps me sleep better you know what that's true did they put lavender in belfi's i don't think they did which no they didn't they put lemon rose peach and vanilla, which I think would be a nice smell to help him sleep better, but they really mi missed out not putting lavender in there. Bam. Oh. I'm interested in what kind of perfume you select for me, Lavi. I don't even have to select for you, Lucifer. They already got it cooked up and ready for you, hon. Johnny. We'll come back with the rest of our brothers and play with you all again soon. Bye-bye, phantom butterflies. That reminded me of the cursed Genshin phone. Wait, what? I mean, I know they make uh, iPhone cases, which you know what? Now that I have an, damn it! Now that I have an iPhone, I really should get a nerdy otaku case. Uh, my only case is clear, but I am representing my obey me boys. Let me just throw up that cat cam really quick and you're gonna lose my tra I'm, my tracking is gonna be lost because I'm losing my phone for tracking but I got I have mammon and I have satan that is my phone case is just two stickers of of satan and mammon in my phone case 
The same artist did the side characters too, but they were they were like starting to open orders after I already put in my order. So I need to go back. Ooh, I need to go back and get them as well. Scarecrow Lavi initiated, yeah. <laughs> it's a little freaky when my tracking decides to not detect or uh, I go out of bounds. The downside of being 3D. What's the downside of being a VTuber in general, actually, but... <sighs> we are on the last chapter for the common route. We're just gonna have a bunch of perfumes and butterfly friends in this route. Also, if I remember correctly, the characters that were on the phone are... Shangling and Kaching? Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised uh, if, well, you're talking about like a full phone, not like a phone case, right, Hiki? Not a phone case, but an actual phone. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Character themed. Yeah, those sound super sus. We have not gotten to that level yet where major phone companies are willing to let the full weebs out and about. Levy, will you continue your quest to find a signature perfume when you get home? Don't stink up the house again. They're hella expensive. I could never. Even though they probably look sus and jank. Mm, I wouldn't either. Huh? I'll search for Lady Rosalind's perfume another time. For now, I've already found my fave signature scent. Oh, he gonna be repping us. Let's go. Who's your fave, Levy? Who's Who's your fave, Levy? Huh? <laughs> you, you should already know the answer to that. I just wanted you to say it. Sheesh. I can't get you or Mammon to admit to anything. Woo. Mate, mate, mate. <laughs> Have I gone down the sadistic route where he forced me to say it out loud? Yes. <laughs> He's aware. He is aware ever since he called me out for being a content creator. Levy has gotten way too, uh, way too aware of the meta. <laughs> we all know that Levy's fave is Lavi. Asmo, don't say it for him. Ruining the fun. D don't put words into my mouth. Oh, wait, so then it's not me? No need to get so upset over something we all already know. Huh. Uh, but if word gets out about Lavi's signature scent, then everyone is going to know. Which means he can't hoard it to himself. Oh. Well, then we should make sure the secret doesn't leave this forest. Uh-oh, that means the only people that are going to have my signature scent is Levi, Lucifer, and Asmo. <laughs> And Belfi. I don't think that's going to last very long. Beale's going to find out first because Belfi and Beale being twins. I can see it already. Huh? Mm. You mean Lavi won't be allowed to wear the perfume outside of this forest? Uh. Are you okay with that, Lavi? No, I'm not okay with that because I want Diavolo to inhale me. Inhale. <laughs> Wait, I can't say no. Damn it, fine. Only because it's very special, I guess. <laughs> Beale can smell it already, I bet. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, Lavi called it special. Thank you, Lavi. <laughs> then I hereby declare us the Lavi Perfume Pro Protection Agency. <laughs> That is kind of cute that they have their own little, you know, secret. We've got secrets inside of the uh, brother flick. That was kind of that was kind of cute. That was cute. All right, let's see the top route. What do 
you mean he's disappeared into the forest? Mm. Mm, perhaps it would be more correct to say that the forest has disappeared with him inside it. Wait, what? The whole ass forest is gone in the top route? Huh? Uh, the entire forest? That's right. I saw Asma walking towards the forest, looking dazed. But when I chased after him, he disappeared right in front of my eyes. Mm. I blinked, and then suddenly the entire forest has had disappeared along with him. Huh? Uh, this can only mean one thing. Man's been spirited away by the Fae. It has something to do with the perfume. <laughs> That's right. I knew that perfume was bad news. Mm -hmm. You said that you both went to search for the shop. How did it go? Oh. There was no sign of the shop anywhere. We ran into Mephisto and talked to him about it, but uh, the entire area is being redeveloped. Even if there were shops, they're either closed or unoccupied. Uh. Then where did Beale buy the pillow mist? Hmm. It sounds like we must do some more research into the area where Beale found this shop. I do some research. We can't just walk right into the forest this time. <sighs> Beale is gone on an overnight camp with his fangol team, so I asked him over decom. <sighs> he said he found the shop right on the corner of this road. Huh? Does this mean the shop disappeared too? Does that perfume have the power to make things disappear? Suka. Chances are that there might be some kind of clue left behind. Lavi, take a good look around the area. Fine. I'll do it. Actually, do your thing, Lavi. This is your time to shine. You got this. Huh? Huh? Suddenly my entire fan base is depending on me. I won't let you down, Lavi. My entire fan base. You mean just us? Just MC is your fan base, all oh, honey. Yosh. By the power of the winds from your fan cheering me on, I, Detective Levy, will find a clue. I still can't believe we've had the other brothers be a, the detective before Satan. This is a this is a crime. This is not the true timeline. Uh. Hmm? There's something sparkling over here. It looks a little bit like fairy dust or butterfly dust, don't you think? Fairy, butterfly, same thing, right? Traces of butterfly dust found near the location of the missing shop with the butterfly signed. Sign, excuse me. Sounds like they could be connected, maybe. Just a hunch. Let's split up and give the area a thorough search. We may find another clue. The queen is here! Oh my goodness! I gotta take a sip. Well, if it is Slavi, what are you doing out here? She's here to help us. She just swoops in whenever we need help. Do you know anything about this, uh, butterfly dust? Nani? Butterfly dust, you say? My, you've certainly stumbled upon a rare find. What you have there is phantom butterfly dust. Eh? I hear that the phantom butterfly is a mysterious butterfly with deep blue wings. They live in the forests of the Devildom. But that's not all they say about phantom butterflies. It's said that they can create illusions that draw victims into their forest. Uh, those who enter the forest of the phantom butterflies are never heard from again. Wow! Oops! That's the alarm for my true new trap, the dumpling dealer number five. It must be malfunctioning again. See you around, Lavi. I'd be careful looking for the phantom butterflies if I were you. Oh, she's so adorable. Huh? 
Uh, we've checked out every inch of the area, but had no luck finding any more clues. Yeah. Did you find anything else, Lavi? Um, I ran into my long lost love, 13. Um, I mean, the dust we found is from the Phantom Butterfly. I can at least, like, say that. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I still haven't uh, sent your, my 13 artwork in the Discord. I'm not really sure if I'm happy with how it turned out. I'm sure everybody would still love to see it, Queen. I mean, when it comes to creating things, you are your own worst critic, though. I feel that. Phantom Butterfly. I've heard of that name before. They're a devildom urban legend. Oh, do tell. Nah. Urban legend? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? It gets talked about a lot on Devil Tube and Fab Snap. Oh, so it's kind of like Sasquatch. Is that where? Is that the route we're heading down? Or the Loch Ness mus monster, Nessie? Legend has it that the Phantom Butterflies use illusions to lure unsuspecting victims into their forest. Mm. Uh, once you're there, it turns you into one of them. Another story that goes that they take that they, that goes is that they take you and turn you into their own personal nest. That's pretty sick. Not gonna lie. Huh. Wait with the dramatics. You're not scaring anybody. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's an otaku thing. I can't help but retell it like I heard it on the videos. Ayo, 3 a.m. Surfing those creepy pastas, Levy. Yeah. Uh, wait, what am I thinking? There's no time for stories. Mm. Something seemed to be calling out to Asmo, beckoning him to the forest. Could that have been the forest of the phantom butterflies? Mm. We know now that it's a possibility, which means things aren't looking good for Asmo. Mm. We have to find the forest of the phantom butterflies and save Asmo. We gotta go save. Asmo. But are they really gonna be that hostile in this upper route, though? I doubt it. I would be surprised if they are. Nah. The forest of the phantom butterflies is an urban legend, right? How are we supposed to find it? Mm. I heard that if you blow the phantom butterfly dust into the air, it will create a path that will guide you to the forest. Onegai. I can barely believe we're out here pulling urban, putting urban legends to the test. Go ahead, Lavi. You want me to do it? All right, then. Oh. Uh, whoa. The sparkles have turned into a trail of light. Oh. This is proof that the legend is true. If we stream this live, the occult community will go crazy for it. I got you covered, Lavi. No worries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, now's not the time for that. I need to focus on saving Asmo. Let's follow that trail. You know what? If there was gonna be a, like, a rad club that Levy would join, it would be the occult one. Wait, I say we separate into two groups. Mm. I've no interest in whether this urban legend is true or not, but I do know that there is a strong possibility that something strange is going on with Asmo. Asmo is a damsel in distress. We must save him. Yes, we must. Just like, um... Just like the one episode from the anime. <laughs> Belfi and I will search, or will research more about the phantom butterflies. Levi and Lavi, you two follow that trail to the forest. Huh? Huh? You're not coming to the forest with us, Lucifer? Do you want me to go with a Belfi instead? <laughs> huh? And send Lucifer with me to go look for the forest? Uh, I guess I had assumed he'd be coming with us. After all, things always turn out all right when he's around. Uh, but I'm not about to forfeit an opportunity to pair up with you either. Ah, uh, he realized this is his chance, his alone chance. Alone chance time noticed. Besides, Asmo might uh, really be scared right now. Mm. I'll be all right. 
Asma was strong, but there are things in that forest beautiful enough that he could easily be tempted. I'm worried. <laughs> That's why I can't let myself be scared. <laughs> just, just promise me that you'll stay close, okay? Okay, this is adorable. This is adorable. I love the noises he makes. I do too. <laughs> His seiyu... It really does feel like a lot of the seiyus for the cast are just their characters. It's so good. I like... I really like when they channel their uh, same character energy. IRL. Lavi, I made King Cross. He ho let's go. You got the big boy. Congrats. This is it. The forest of the phantom butterflies. Mm. While it's certainly surreal, the appeal doesn't fool me. It's harmless and inviting appearance is a trap to lure in victims. Yeah! Urban legends are an essential part of the introduction to any good horror game or anime. Okay. Don't worry, I've been preparing for this situation my entire life. Mm. The number one rule of survival is to never split up. Number two is to avoid getting frisky with the love interests at all costs. <laughs> We're gonna break rule number two. I'm so sorry, Levy. <laughs> He's done his homework, though. I'll give him that. Now it's Black Frost time. Hell yeah, it is, Hiki. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. D don't get me wrong. I don't mean that I want to get frisky with you or anything. Those thoughts usually stay in my head. Uh-huh. Do they now? <laughs> Do they? Huh? Huh? Wh what? Huh. Why does everything look so soft and blurry? Oh, he did not catch what he just said, did he? He did not. It's fine. Okay, I'll overlook that one this time, Levy. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. <laughs> Wait, what? What am I doing? Lavi, wh what's gotten into you? We we can't be doing something like this. It will trigger the flag for the bad ending. Well, you can't. What am I doing? I'm concerned. What's with this music to do, too? <laughs> no. I'm probably going to have to do this, aren't I? Um... I don't know. What are we doing? Are you hallucinating? Ah, oh, he's hallucinating. The the butterflies are playing pranks on him just like Pixies would. Hey yo. Hey yo, are you hallucinating, sir? Huh? 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 Hallucinating? Huh? What? Is that Really, you, Lavi? I mean, he's the one who said it. He admitted to keeping dirty thoughts to himself, so... He just walked right into that one. Before, you were about to... Uh, and now you're... And now... Wait, what was I about to? He's not gonna explain. God damn it! I, tick I would personally tickle him until he told me what it is he was hallucinating about. Was it all an illusion? I heard that the forest of the phantom butterflies can cause hallucinations for those who enter. Don't. Don't look at me like that! I saw you soar off into the sky from a slingshot, I swear! Wait, what? Uh-huh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I most definitely did not hallucinate about anything that you're thinking! Get your head out of the gutter! Sure. Sure you weren't. Sure you weren't. We did not fly Queen. He was just trying to make some kind of, like, ridiculous, like, scenario so we wouldn't have caught on that he was definitely not the Hornies. 
<sighs> He's such a bad liar. He really is. Ah, uh, more. Uh, now my face feels all sweaty and hot. Well, that sounds like a skill issue. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to stay here with you all forever? Beautiful me in this beautiful forest, surrounded by all you beautiful butterflies. Maybe this is where I truly belong after all. <laughs> Asmo's gonna become Titania. At this rate. And you know what? I don't really think that's a bad offer. <laughs> Let's go play some more. Praise my beauty and make me shine even more. Oh. He really does look pretty. Dancing around surrounded by butterflies. Is he trying to become the queen of the phantom butterflies? I wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> mm. Yeah, queen of the phantom butterflies sounds right up his alley. Mm. But there's something about the aura surrounding him. The co color is strange. There's something behind this. Meh. Yeah. Asmo! Yeah? Lavi! Lavi! I'm glad you're here. I was about to come and get you. <laughs> These little guys want to turn me into a butterfly so I can be their phantom butterfly leader. Anone? Their numbers have been decreasing in recent years. In order to increase their population, they created a perfume that's made with flowers that grow from phantom butterfly dust. Ooh, that sounds pretty. Let me just notate that as a flower to grow in my garden really quick. Okay. And then they gave me the perfume to denizens. Or then they gave the perfume to denizens in the village and brought them here to the forest. <laughs> but I was brought here because I'm their chosen one. Nah. Lavi, Lavi, you two should become phantom butterflies too and live here in the forest with me. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of resonating with me as a plant-based girly, girly goo. <laughs> I had a bad feeling I would enjoy this. <laughs> beautiful things are allowed to live inside their forest. Mm. You might not be beautiful now, hey! <gasps> but if you let them turn you into a phantom butterfly, then anybody can be beautiful. I'm perfectly beautiful just how I am. Carnivorous flowers and unbloomed flowers and... my shiny stomach crystals and all. <laughs> You won't have to worry about not passing. Really? Really? Is that what you consider true beauty? Wait, what about beauty on the inside? Will Levy still be allowed to live here? Yo, that is such a burn to Levy. I'm gonna choose it. <laughs> don't look into the darkness of my soul. I don't want anyone to see how cringy I am. Yo. <gasps> <clears throat> Levy, you just have to accept the cringe. It will never, ever leave. Just like scuff. Gotta embrace cringe and scuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But wait, it's my cringe that makes me a pure and true otaku. That's what beauty. That's what's beautiful about it. My dark side is what helps my beauty shine through. Hey, yo, that was that was such a good way to push through that levy. Holy crap! I thought he was gonna start, um, self-loathing. What a good turnaround! I don't need to become a phantom butterfly. I'm beautiful enough the way I am. Tell it to him, hun. If you turn into a phantom butterfly, you won't be Asmo. That's right, Asmo. You won't be loving yourself because you won't be the same. Nah. Your own unique beauty will be gone forever. After all that effort, all the confidence you had that made you the most beautiful in the devildom. 
It's that confidence that I admire, and I respect the way you spare no effort when it comes to your own worth. Why? But if you let yourself turn into a phantom butterfly, then all those beautiful parts of you will be wasted. Holy shit, Levy's giving Asmo the talk. He is, he is hard yapping. <laughs> Honestly, Sam, I thought I was going to do that too. I'm so glad that he didn't. I'm actually really liking this event for Levy, like putting his foot down. <laughs> I remember when I thought I was snitching to Lucifer in private and the other brother was in the room. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I cannot trust to say anything in the House of Lamentation without someone eavesdropping. Running the talk, no jutsu. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Yada. Uh, no, I like myself just the way I am. Oh, he's back. Levy really did hit him with the talk, no jutsu. Snapped Asmo the hell out of it. Huh? What's this? There's butterfly dust all over me. Oh. The phantom butterflies are restraining him. They're trying to take him with them. Oh wow, the butterflies actually are hostile in this route. Amazing. I was I I I didn't think they I didn't think the team had the, the balls to do it. No, they doing it. They doing it. Whoa! Legendary boss fight! Let's go! Oh. Will my power be enough to win against the army of phantom butterflies? Drown them. I hate to say that, but... But... Drown them. Show them the power of an older brother! Mm. Yeah, you're right. I might be an introvert, but if I can't even protect Asmo, then I don't deserve to call myself his older brother. Do it. Do it. Do the low tan. Do it. Do it. You know you want to. Yosh! Lavi, I'm going to summon low tan and wash away the butterfly dust. You get Asmo. Let's go! In the name of Leviathan, avatar of envy and master of water itself, I command you! Come forth, Lotan! Let's go! Holy shit! Yada. I can move now, but the current is too strong. Ah, take my hand, Asmo. I got you. I got you, baby girl. Arigato. <laughs> Thanks, Lavi. crush the butterflies i think this is the first time lotan was summoned in an event at least all the events i've read we've never summoned Lo lotan in like a positive way at the very least you know like levy like doing it without being angry or upset the butterfly dust is gone and the phantom butterflies are unable to fly while wet does this mean we won huh uh, wait, it's a trap. I almost triggered another flag that would have finished us all off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we can't let our guards down just yet. Sometimes there are bigger bosses waiting for us right after what we think is the final battle in these kinds of games. Levy is like hard to Luluing right now, almost like Ichiban. <laughs> Levy is not a video game. Please. This is real life, sir. <laughs> this is real life. <laughs> Thank you, Lotan. See you, buddy. Aw. Aw. Yeah. Uh, my clothes are soaked. I'm dripping wet. <laughs> I need to clean myself up and fast. I don't think you're gonna go fast, are you, Asmo? Arigato. <laughs> Thanks for saving me, Lavi. Lavi. I was happy hearing what you said about the things that make me truly beautiful. But the butterflies' wings are all limp and wet. Poor little things. Will they be okay? Asmo! They tried to turn you into a butterfly and take you away. 
Was everything you said about the phantom butterflies true? Is their population really in danger? Mm. It's all true. I could hear everything that they were saying. I think it's because of the perfume I have on. Anone. Ever since they began losing their friends, the forest has gotten really quiet. They've been feeling lonely. That's when one phantom butterfly heard the boisterous voice coming from the House of Lamentation. They only wanted to be friends. Mm. They know now that the way they handled things was wrong. Huh? Uh, the boisterous voice? Could we have an example? Uh-huh. Oh, I get it. I told you he has schizophrenia! <laughs> Wait, I never realized that Lotan sounded like... Sounds like a Pokemon. You're right, guys. I think they changed the uh, sound effect for uh, Lotan because, like, a lot of the sound effects they would use for animals was just, like, Beale's stomach slash Cerberus's... Uh, um voice but like even the previous event the the storm dust bowl or race or whatever um there was an animal in it that used a different noise than the uh beal stomach cerberus uh sound i think they've been adding new sounds which is really nice because i also think levy's got some new voice clips in this event too when I heard the name, I was like, is that a Pokemon? It There actually is one named uh, Lotan. Let's see. Pokemon Lotan. Or it's Lotad, excuse me. There is Lotad. Lotad, Lotan. Close enough, right? Uh, this is, this is, uh, this is Lotad. <laughs> Here's our Lotan. So frightening. What a frightening sea ser serpent. I was coming in here to say Lotad. I actually like Lotad. Lotad's cute. Um, Lotad evolves into Lombre and Ludicolo. Look at Ludicolo, though. He's so happy. He just wants to dance. His whole body produces energy when it's hit by sound waves with a cheerful rhythm. So it just likes to dance with maracas. I like Ludicolo. Pretty cool. Lotad is a little lad. Yes. Maybe that's why. Yeah, it probably is nerdy. <laughs> Their population is in danger and we drowned them. <laughs> Deserved. Ah, if they really are in danger. I accidentally flipped over my <laughs> case that I had on my desk. Oops. <laughs> but yes, uh, in Pokemon, is it Colosseum or Gale of Darkness? There is a uh, fight with, I think their name is Funky B. And they just have a bunch of Ludicolos, like a dance team. Let me see. Uh... Oh, it's Mirror B. Okay, Mirror B. Oh, and both games. Okay. But yeah, I, I always liked the fight. Or my my Ruby, excuse me. Yeah, yeah. So imagine you're fighting this trainer, flanked by a bunch of Ludicolos, and they're just grooving. <laughs> I don't know if they have a, a another Colosseum version. Yeah, this is the one I remember most. Was the Colosseum version of them. But I don't know if there's a screenshot with... Wait, they were also in the manga? Yeah, there's the Ludicolos, though. And they have this really fire uh, battle theme. See if I can find it. Uh, let me see if this is it. It must be Colosseum, I think, actually, is the one that I am remember. Maybe? Or is it the same? This doesn't sound familiar. Yeah, it must be the first game. 
Why is only the Gale of Darkness one up here? Oh, I think this is it. <gasps> this is it! Okay, yeah. It's Colosseum fight that I remember the most. So you've come to save the day. Darling, let that music play. My team is sure to leave you wanting more. Except there wasn't lyrics, but... Just be sure to add your own support. Gonna need more muscle if you want that muscle. Think that some nobody with two left feet has a yeah, th it overthrown. it did not come with lyrics. It's not too bad though. Don't you know the darker shadows are set by brighter spotlights? Can't be imitated, loved and never hated. Salt's a king. There we go. With the R. Did you know that Lotan is supposed to have seven heads? At least the mythological version. The Wolburn Bong was still over. Yeah, I know. But this is a beat. I don't know. Why did they change the fight music between Colosseum and uh, 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 Gale of Darkness? I cannot believe they didn't reuse it. It fits the fight so much better. I need to go back and play Colosseum and Gale of Darkness. I never finished either of them either since I was a small baby. And they were hard when I was younger. Oh, but they cost so much now. The game store we went to yesterday had them physically, and they were over $130 each. I think XD was actually over $200. It's heckin' insane, the inflation for the older physical game market. I hate it, but I also kind of like it at the same time. Yale of Darkness, if I remember correctly, is obscenely hard, which is funny because Colosseum was already hard as hell. It, re it really was. It really was. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. That's enough boogie. Boogieing. <clears throat> they heard a really loud voice shouting, it's the episode I've been waiting for! And the official website released a new statement! Or something like that. <laughs> These butterflies could hear Levy's otakuing. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, you mean Levy's fanatic otaku screeching? <laughs> huh? They could hear me in the House of Lamentation all the way from here. Uh -huh. uh, this is uh, so embarrassing. Uh. But this means that my fanatic screeching is effective against creatures of urban le legends. I guess that's neat. <laughs> what a very odd specific trivia to have added to your wiki page, Levy. Oh. If they don't like feeling lonely, then what if we came to visit them here in the forest? Solution. If they're lonely and lashing out, just agree to go visit them from time to time. Uh, I'm exhausted. Adventuring in the forest is definitely not for an otaku like me. I'm grateful the phantom butterflies accepted our offer to come see them in the forest. Oh. But this ending feels a little too sweet for something as notorious as an urban legend. Whoa, he's right. <laughs> Yo, Levy is right. I made it so late. Glad I woke up. Hello, guys. Laughing everyone. How are y'all? Hi, Kizan. Good morning. 
I hope you slept well. Thank you for joining us. I suppose stories with happy endings have been getting more attention online lately. Wait, really? No, give me heartbreak. Give me better sweetness. I want my heart ripped out and stomped on. Those are my favorite kind of stories because they traumatize me and so I can never forget about them. Huh? <laughs> Lavi, you smell really good, you know? Mm. Should I tell this otaku that he smells really good? <laughs> <laughs> you smell really good too, <laughs> Lavi. Huh? Really? I do? The smell of you distracted me so much that I... <sighs> You're right. It's it's nice, but it doesn't smell like my usual self. Is it because we were in the forest of phantom butterflies? Don't lie to him, girl. I'm only gonna do it once. I swear, it's only once. Oh. We both came from the same forest, but our scents are slightly different. It must be our body chemistry. Tasmo told me once that you can put the same perfume on your skin as someone else, but it won't smell the same. Hmm, that's an interesting thing Asma would say. I... I think I... like the way you smell better. Hmm... I can reverse Uno again and say, no you. Oh, are we at Kissy now? Please have Kissy. I think we are, Kizan. We're on the final, um, chapter of the top route already, uh, because of it being a quick event as per usual. But, uh, guys, I think when Happy Devil Day starts, um, it's gonna be a, a long reading event I'll be having to do. <laughs> Don't lie to him. Okay, fine. Fine. I won't, I won't say the same. I will give him huggies. Gotta get close, right? Huh? Huh? Whoa! So I'm not hallucinating again, am I? You're the real Lavi, not the one from my hallucination, right? Okay, confirmed. He was hallucinating about us at least hugging him. It's like your scent is invading my head. Huh? This is dangerous. My brain refuses to think about anything other than you. Maybe our sense will begin to mix if we stay like this. Uh, more. I can't separate myself from this scent. They can throw me in normie jail if they won't want. I don't care. He has sinned. This otaku has sinned. Send him to normie jail. Nah. Uh, Lavi, can we keep this scent that we share going for just a little longer? Where's my kissies? Okay, I gotta go back and see if there's a kissy option instead of just hugging him. Hang on. Hold up, guys. I I'll get to it. <sighs> I'll pick the other option here, though. Doesn't it remind you of the phantom butterfly perfume? Oh. Now that you mention it, the entire forest gave off the same smell as the phantom butterfly perfume. Which means that maybe... Yeah, I smell like it too. Oh. Alright, reverse uno. I could say the same about you. You can't tell me any different. I like your smell better, Levy. Come here, let me give you sniffa. Huh? Uh, me? Really? Th then... Do you mind if I come um, sit a little closer? Yeah, how else am I going to sniff you? Hey, yo, I'd rather put your arms around me instead. Uh -huh. I uh, wanted to give my heart some time to recover, but if you insist... <laughs> You're warm, Lavi. Mm -hmm. I can smell you better now. It's making me feel dizzy. Don't pass out. Don't pass out, please. Is the smell getting stronger because of my heart beating so fast? Oh, uh, maybe it's our rising body temperature instead. <sighs> uh, my insides feel hot all over. My head is filled with filled with thoughts of you, Lavi. Mm -hmm. Wait, no kissy? Uh, no, no kissy. No, 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 no. 
I gotta pick the other option too. I, guys, I don't think we're getting a kissy out of this one. I think we're just getting dizzy sniffa hugs instead. <sighs> we gotta take, maybe they're like, we gotta take it slow with Levy here. Otherwise he's gonna pass out. All right, I want you right next to me, right here. <laughs> okay, pardon me then. <sighs> I can smell you better while I'm this close. It makes me feel a little buzzed. Hmm? No, Kissy! Um, yeah. Ah, mo! Ah, mo, indeed! No! Where's my kissy? Indeed, we got a riot. What the heck? Well, damn. For real? For real? Oh. <laughs> the was like, oh. No kiss, huh? Hmm. Unfortunate. <laughs> Watch your footing. I'm a fall. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Watch where you step. Mm. Diavolo wants us to get closer. Bro, I would. Yeah, no kiss. Okay. Let's chat a little bit, shall we? Let me see here. I'll switch over to the... Uda. Where's Where's my... Where's my... Oh, there it is. There we go. Yeah, even Giovolo is shocked. He really is. He's like, wait, what? What? I thought here. I'm gonna double check the. Uh, I'm gonna double check the uh, the the Obey Me socials because I'm pretty sure it had said that it was a levy in the spotlight event. But my opinion is, if we don't get kisses, it doesn't count as a spotlight event. But let me check. Well, I'm checking. What do you guys think about the event, though? Despite no kissies, womp womp. It does. It does say Leviathan in the spotlight on socials. Here, here's the proof. There it is. Right up in the upper left where it usually is. Leviathan in the spotlight. I was going to make a joke earlier that at the end of this event, we're going to get the sloppiest of kissies, but now I feel like a dumb dumb. Aww. Oh, I still would have taken them. Still would have accepted those uh, kissies. Am I going to do another stream of Persona 3 Reload today? Actually, Ivy, what I'm going to do is... What time is it right now? 5.50. So I think I'm going to rest for about an hour, um, an hour and a half. And actually, I'm going to be over on Twitch to finish um, my Lost Judgment uh, Platinum... Or, excuse me, Legendary Difficulty Platinum. Because last night, I stopped on the finale, the final chapter. So I'm going to actually finish that instead of doing Reload today. Reload will be next uh, Sunday instead, because I want to finally finish and 100% lost judgment. Well, if the event doesn't have Kissy, maybe his Devilgram, which you've spent a lot of money to get it. I did get his Devilgram, or I did get his card, excuse me. So I could check and I could let you guys know because I really wanted the card because it's so pretty. It wasn't too bad. It was an okay event, but we didn't see many of the brothers or characters. I actually don't mind when it's supposed to be a spotlight event that uh, there are less um, characters involved. That way they can focus more focus more on the spotlight character. Um, Levy was being Levy again. <laughs> hey, I gotta give credit. 
uh, at least this uh, Levy event did not involve getting wrapped up in one of his games. Kudos to the team for not making it another game world uh, based event for Levy. VIPs really hit different. Yeah, they do, Kizan. A VIP has, is very helpful. But personally, I liked it. I'm just really sad we didn't get kissies. So I wouldn't say it's spotlight due to that. However, it was really nice to see Levy's concern for Asmo. Um, I think they did that very well. I think they did him putting his foot down and snapping Asmo out of it. Uh, and like reasoning with Asmo. I think that went along like really well. I think that was very well executed. And I really love that we were able to have Lotan used. So I would say it's not as good as the last one I read, which was Storm Dust Panic, I think is what it was called. I'm going to double check because I like to be accurate, <laughs> even though it kind of slows things down. Uh, that's my stream. I don't know you. That's my stream. I don't know you. Um, I wanted to check my playlist. I knew what I what I read last. <laughs> okay, go to my lives and check my last <laughs> baby live. Yeah, dust storm panic. Okay, yeah, yes. Uh, dust storm panic is is slightly better than this one because relationship wise with Barbatos, the romance was better. But when it comes to, like, showing Levy being a good brother and just, like, a nice, like, a good character in general, I like this uh, event more. It's really hard with the rankings for Obey Me because you've got to get the cheat cards. They're very helpful. You didn't make the gust, uh, dust storm. It was so early that you were snoring at the time. It is available now to watch Kizan. It's it's there now. So whenever, whenever you'd like, it is now available. But I did enjoy it. It was a good event. Uh, this event and the last event have been better than the uh, other spotlight events that I have uh, read this year. So so they're putting in more effort. I would like to think they're they're doing better. They're doing better now. And I'm glad they picked Asmo to be the target of Levy's concerns because again, I still feel like Asmo gets shafted a lot amongst the uh Brothers. I still kind of think the butterflies deserved a little bit of a little bit more punishment. But I'll be honest, I was not expecting us to use Lotan, which is also a big plus. The only the only advice I can really give you, Kizan, is to get the cards in Nightmare and level them up as much as you can. Also use any extra AP you have on double point days on OG Obey Me. Yeah, I agree. Uh, also, always log in twice a day to get Beal out of the fridge for AP. And make sure to watch those ads as well for more AP and stage usages. I save my AP in the mailbox instead of using it right away. I do the same thing as Queen. I wait until an event hit hits because usually they give you enough uh, time to claim the items in the mailbox before expiration that another event will end up happening. So you can, you can end up using that AP 
after you use up all the ones that you uh, have and you still have stages to clear in, a, in an event. You have 1200 AP in your mailbox? Dang, queen. That's more than me. I think I only have 200, I think. And the, But they don't have a time limit because I used up the ones that had a time limit to uh, do this event. Yeah. Um, however, if nobody is aware, I have been talking about the upcoming uh, Happy Devil Day stuff that's happening next. It's going to be the next event and it's going to be a big one. Uh, speaking of, if, if if anyone is still here and they have not joined the Tea Break Garden Discord and would be interested in that, here is the link for the Discord. Feel free to drop by, say hi. We like to talk about, of course, Obey Me stuff as well as Pokemon, uh, stuff that I'm currently playing on both Twitch and YouTube. We have uh, an artist slash fan art channel with a bunch of wonderful, wonderful people that have been very supportive, supportive of each other in their pursuit of artwork. And it it's always uh, a good thing. Uh, it brings a smile to my face to see what they have been working on. There's also pictures of Stella. If there's any goofy pictures of my cat Stella, they are also put in there as well. And I am also open to more suggestions if anybody want it, wants any other channels um, added to the Discord. Feel free to just let me know. And also, if you are joining, in order to get full access to the Discord, make sure that you go to the rules part of the welcome category and react to say that you acknowledge to the rules. Otherwise, you'll only see the welcome category and um, you wouldn't be able to, you you would be missing out on the community, basically. You'd, you'd only see when I go live and like when I ping everybody for my schedule for streaming and such as that you'll you'll miss out on the entire entirety of the garden where everybody ends up doing chit chats and stuff and being amazing amazing guests whenever you get awarded ap just don't use it unless you absolutely have have to exactly yes my art is amazing right now i'm not even drawing persona is on my schedule all day every day but it's but it's actually booty <laughs> You can take a break. Y'all y'all are entitled to rest and relax, especially if you have art block. Please do not please do not push yourself past like an art block or if you just need need to take time from from uh doing artwork. There's no shame in that. Queen's gonna send 13 art. Yes, let's go. But yeah, I believe, I believe the small events are getting back on track at the very least. I've had a good time with the last couple of ones. I am looking forward to Happy Devil Day, though. I really wonder what they plan on doing. Um, oh, right. I was going to bring up some of the info for that. So, if no one's aware, starting April 11th, from 6 p.m., we can get up to 200 free summons in Nightmare when Happy Devil Day 2024 starts. And these are the cards that are uh, going to be a part of the Nightmare banner. And they're, you're splitting them into two parts. So the first part is the 11th of April, and the second part is going to be the 22nd. And everybody looks really good. I really like the cards. Personally, I'm aiming for Satan and Diavolo. Uh, but if I was going to be extra greedy, um, I think... I think I'd want Barbatos and Solomon, actually. And then also Mammon, but yeah. 
Wait, how does that work? 200 free? You have to log in daily, Kizan. So you get a full 10 pool each day, basically, is how they are doing it. So you got to make sure to log in every day. And then um, doing that ends up with 200, basically. So that means for 20 days, is that right? For 20 days, once a day, you get to do a free 10 pool. So that ends up being 200. Honestly, I'm concerned about Happy Devil Day as I've already spent money on summons lately. That's fair, Queen. I kind of don't remember when Happy Devil Day starts. <laughs> or or else I would have been more careful uh, about my pulls as well. So that's what we're going to have in, in the Nightmare Banners. But we're also going to have a Happy Devil Day event. So that is going to be... I don't think they've actually... Oh, here it is. These are the event, like, outfits slash cards of what we're going to be getting directly from the event. And the event is going to be a Celestial Blessing. Unfortunately. I'm not, not lucky with those Celestial Blessings. Um, and the event is going to be called Revolution of the Stained Glass Flower. And it looks like they have music slash marching band themed outfits because some of the characters have, they have musical notes and staffs uh, on their outfits. And then marching band uh, hats. <laughs> but these uh, event um, celestial blessing cards come with... Uh, <laughs> the 3D outfits. No, well, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Let me let me rewind. The nightmare cards come with the outfits, the 3D outfits, and this is what they look like. I kind of hope the next time they adver advertise uh, Wanderer wearabout outfits, that not everybody's just standing in a bland pose because it's a little scary. Luke is adorable. But we only have we have Mammon, Levy, and Luke who have their own specific pose. And then Asmo, Diavolo, Lucifer, and Beale posing with their arms crossed and then everybody else is just like You know, just can I can I like zoom in on the okay here we go. <laughs> they are they are all unamused. Why would you do this to them? It's so uncanny. <laughs> I just want Lucifer and Diavolo. That is so fair. That's such a mood, Ivy. I want to try and rein in my greed. I just, I just, I need to, I need to settle for only two cards when it comes to big events like this. But I can't because everybody looks so good. I've been spending money on merch, art supplies, and summons lately ripped to all my money. I'm trying so hard not to spend as much. I need to start saving money, honestly. I need to. They know they have an audience of former band and theater kids. No, the call out nerdy. It's like they're being forced to take a, fam a family picture. <laughs> I wish they made the models more anime than realistic. I feel like it would be so good. I think my problem is, is I don't have an issue with the way the 
like 3D topology and stuff has been done for the models. My problem is, is that they're not expressive enough. That's why they feel off and uncanny to me. Because I see what they were going for, and I don't mind it. I don't mind the style at all, but just... They've not been rigged... Uh, well enough. I think that's my problem. Because it just kind of reminds me of when I first started VTubing, when I was only using a webcam. So, like... I wasn't able to be as expressive as I wanted to, like... I couldn't lift my eyebrows. I, I couldn't wink and have my nose move at the same time. I, I couldn't stick out my tongue. Uh. Or puff out my cheeks. You know, like, so I, I, I feel like they need to work a little bit better on their default expressions <laughs> that I wouldn't be so intimidated. They gotta look better than... <laughs> yeah, exactly, Hiki. <laughs> oh, no. Uh. Yandere Sim is more expre express expressive than them. Yeah. Have you ever seen Carlos Gonzalez's edit of the models? No, I have not, nerdy. I have not. I've just seen a lot of people, you know, make fun of the models because... Yeah, they're a little jank. What surprises me is on some of the clothing. They obviously do have some rigging on the clothes. Cause I think it was, I think it was Luke in one of his animations in Wonder's Whereabouts. One of his little angelic accessory danglies did not clip through him. It actually went up and over. So they do have hit detection on, on some of the pieces. So I'm just wondering why they kind of ignored um, adding more refinement in the faces. Because, like, that's kind of more like a second thought. Not as many people are going to be as picky about um, pieces of clothing uh, clipping through and going through uh, 3D models' bodies compared to, like, them being expressive and more human-esque. I thought it was a weird priority, but it does prove that they they who whoever they commissioned to do to do the 3D models knows about bones and uh what's the word? They know about scripting physics um that I do for Lavi and Unity. Um uh hit radiuses amongst the bones and stuff like that. Sorry, Kizan, I can't. I'll probably end up spending money to buy a lot of devil points for Happy Devil Day. Hey! If it brings you joy and you get your boy queen, that's what's important. I see what you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you all think of their outfits? Oh, yeah, let me see if I can... Um, bring... Bring up the full cast again. I think I definitely, like the nightmare outfits more than I do the happy devil day outfits you know the the the, the marching band-esque outfits I like these ones because they're more fancy ceremonial-esque with the sashes and stuff like that um Barbatos gets a unique sash compared to the other type of sash that all of the brothers wear together, which I think is cute. All of the brothers are wearing the exact same sash in the exact same way, but it's color coded. So I'm a sucker for um, matching accessories because of uh, idol. Idols will do that for certain outfits and stuff like you, like subunit outfits. They'll all have like one accessory that's all the same amongst uh, amongst them and stuff like that. How do you even get the 3D models anyway? It really depends. So my model was made uh, free with a program called VTube Studio. 
Um, and then Arx does some edits for me in Blender, and then I do further edits in Unity. Um, and then you've got your base, like, software that you can make 3D stuff from scratch, like Blender. Blender will make 3D stuff from scratch. Maya makes things from scratch. I know there's a couple of other programs that also do that. Oh, you meant in Nightbringer. So certain cards will unlock the outfits. They're gonna be a skill thing in the Devil Tree that you have to unlock. And then if you mean r file ripping, yeah, like Nerdy says, people can get into the game and, and rip the 3D models. <laughs> That's how you get MMDs of certain characters doing dances and stuff is uh, people will dig into the game files and rip out the uh, the 3D model. I think you meant Vroid Studio, not VTube Studio. Oh, did I say VTube Studio? I'm so sorry. Yeah, no, I meant Vroid for my 3D. I must be getting a little loopy. I'll be honest, I, I didn't go to sleep until 6 in the morning and then I woke up at I woke up at 11 for medicine and fell back asleep and then woke up again at 1.30 p.m. I mean, I do also use VTube Studio, though, for my um, non-3D avatars. I think in forms of outfits, though, Luke's, Luke's always got, like, some of the most cutest outfits. They really fit him. They work well with him. I don't feel like there's really been an outfit Luke has been given that does not fit him. Oh, are all of the brothers wearing a thigh belt too? Let's go. I think they are. The brothers honestly look like they could start up an idol group with these outfits because of how in sync they are all together. But I think my favorite, if I'm not picking any of the brothers, since they're all pretty similar, they're just different color coded. It might be a tie be between Solomon and Simeon. Solomon's got that nice thick thigh, or not thigh, thick waist belt. I do love me some outfits that make that waist work. Of sleep I stayed up for 50 hours and then passed out earlier jeez queen no way I could do that I agree with Ivy more sleep, please. Let me see if I can... Uh, I don't think I can... Wait, open link? Can I open the... Oh, here's a bigger... Oh, I'm so dumb. Here's a slightly bigger version. I don't know how to feel about the split white out black in pants for Barbatos. That's a choice I am not very fond of. Ah, Diavolo has it too! <laughs> uh. I do like Diavolo's um, neck tie though. I'm not too sure what's going on right here for 
Uh, Solomon? Those little cut panels? I don't know if that's, like, supposed to be a part of the jacket coat. Or... Or just like an extra like strap accessory that you that he he's wearing underneath it. The panels are throwing me off. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the Seven Brothers all wore these and walked on stage to do a performance. Maybe they will. Maybe they will. I'll get my hopes up. Yeah, you're right. I should definitely try to sleep more. You really should. I have really awful sleeping habits. Everybody, I think, at some point or another, end up giving getting really getting a really bad case of insomnia. But just take it one step at a time, Queen. that's gonna be it for me for this session today guys i don't think i've got any more any more obey me stuff to to uh to bring up just remember about your logins get your logins um starting next week next wednesday i think it's gonna be wednesday for me when that starts thursday no thursday yeah Thursday. And at least I'm not in a lot of pain anymore. That's the main reason why I couldn't sleep yesterday. Oh, Queen, is it because of your 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 tooth? I hope you get that checked out if so. Because tooth pain can actually lead to a lot of under underlying problems if that if that doesn't end up getting addressed. No, it was something else. Oh, man. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope you start feeling better soon and not so, so achy. I wish either part one or two will have my faves together like what happened before. Oh, right. I never tend to have the characters I want to pull be in the same nightmare banner. They usually split them up because they the devs are smart like that. But yes, I'm going to take a, a little bit of a break, a uh, rest. I'm going to rest a bit myself and have some food. And then if you guys would need any more company or entertainment, I'll be over on Twitch in a few more hours to do some more Lost Judgment. Uh, I will archive my Lost Judgment. Um, the reason why I stopped multi-streaming it was because uh, YouTube only allows about 11 hours and 50 minutes of runtime for videos. So some of the footage from my first live stream is not on YouTube. So I have to put what was left over together uh, with the other streams that I've done so far. So I just decided, oh, if I'm going to do a really long stream, it's probably best to just do it over on Twitch and then upload the uh, video later. So that's what's going on with Lost Judgment and why I, I uh, did not um, also stream it over here last night. You got another girlfriend in your hair, I'm hickey. <laughs> Unless you take the entirety of April Fool's to upload the video, apparently. Don't quote me. Wait, what? Yo, you might pop over to Twitch, but you don't know anything about the game I'm playing, so you won't know what's going on. That's all right, Queen. I can give you a brief summary too if you do pop in. I want to I want to say the finale is 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 definitely going to be very tension wise and drama feel filled and and everything. So apparently that 38 hour video that got uploaded took at least 24 hours to upload. As far as you know, I'm honestly surprised it even uploaded because when I tried to upload the the full one from Twitch. 
it just straight up told me that it was too long and it gave up. <laughs> I'm like, okay, fine, I'll figure it out somehow. Either way, if you can't attend the finale, or if you don't want to get too confused because the story is very... I mean, it's a detective, like, sh drama, like, you know, so, like, it's it's gonna be hard-hitting stuff. So I, I definitely don't blame anyone uh, to not drop by without already knowing context, you know what I mean? Uh, it, it will end up being available, so you anyone can end up watching it all and and understand and keep up pace of what's going on and enjoy it because i do very much like the game very much i mean i'm playing the game again from beginning to end on the hardest difficulty even though i already played it because i wanted to 100 percent it so it's a good game in my opinion yeah i have no how no clue how it went up the world will never know but yes so thank you guys for joining me today for the Obey Me event reading. Keep a lookout for when uh, the Happy Devil Day event drops. I'll definitely be covering that, but I have a feeling it's going to be in two parts. So I have to wait till both of them are available before I do a reading. And it will end up being like the other holiday ones where it ends up being a, a bit longer, but... Until I see you guys again next time, make sure to take care of yourselves and uh, have a good one. Thank you for always uh, deciding to drop by. I always appreciate your guys' time here with me. So, bye, Abby.